So the question is, what is the most affordable camera? Maybe you want to start to do content. Maybe you want to take photos. Maybe you want to, you know, just go into professional way of capturing stuff. The always go to answer you probably hear everybody that has a professional camera tells you the best camera to start with is the one in your pocket. You see these? I have an iPhone 50. For my channel, this channel, I started off using a iPhone 11. The, the thing about using the camera that you already have is you going straight into creating without thinking about technical stuff. What you don't want to do is put yourself in analysis paralysis of what gear to get rather than just creating. You want to make sure that this is something that you want to do. Even if you don't post any of these videos, any of these photos that you're going to take, even if you don't publish it to the world, try first with the camera that you have on hand. It costs you zero dollars to start with the camera that you have in your pocket. I'm not saying don't get a camera. I'm just saying that start with the one that you have first just to understand the details of it, just to understand the basic. The basic is everything. Do not try to skip the basic, don't. So first thing first, I did get a external audio for my phone and I'm actually using it on the camera itself. Let me show you. So this is the mic that I got for my phone because you can use it for a phone and you can use it for a camera and I still have it and I still use it to, the, to this day. So using my phone, I realized that sometimes I'm further away from the camera and my iPhone was not picking up good audio. So I got an external mic, I plugged it in and I boomed it as close as possible. Secondly, I realized that with the iPhone, I was limited to just the camera that's there. I got this. So there's two parts to this lens. You have a macro lens and you have a wide lens. Basically, the reason why I got this is to get a wider view. And that's another thing that I realized that I was limited to using the phone. I'm only stuck with these lens that they put in the phone and I can't, you know, that would be a good idea. Maybe in the iPhone 20, they can allow us to change the lens of the phone, but still having it this small, but allow us to change lenses. That's a good idea. So yeah, that's the second thing that I got for the iPhone when I was creating content in the beginning. This is with it on and I'm gonna go ahead and take it off to see if there is a difference. Well, there should be a difference. You see? And this is with the lens on, this is without it. I can link where you guys can find this and also the mic and any other thing that I probably show in this video. I will link it in the description in this video. Okay, so this is my ZV-E10. This is the first camera I got moving from the phone. So to answer the question, the most affordable camera, which I already did, which is the phone, but some persons don't consider that a camera. So the most affordable professional camera that's not your phone, I would say is the ZV-E10. At the time, this camera was going for probably $550. So when I say the camera is without a lens, so if you only get this piece, it's gonna cost you 500, almost $600. To get this, which is the starter kit lens, which is basically a very standard, but not the best camera lens. This ran me around 800, 
$900, so under $1,000 US dollars. The ZV-E10 is very compact, like look how small it is. And you have the flip out screen, so you can, you can, you can see yourself. <laughs> You can change the lens and it's very good in terms of quality. It gives you 4K. I still hold on to this because one, this is the first professional camera that I purchased and I still use it. I still use it regardless of me having a probably a better camera now. I still use this and sometimes persons don't even know this, see the difference. So even though having multiple professional cameras, it's always good to know how to utilize your phone in certain situations because there are cases where if you're doing vlogs or if you're just trying to capture some stuff, there are some times where having a professional camera, rigged out camera is not allowed or you just don't want to, you know, be seen. Sometimes you don't want to draw too much attention to yourself. And also sometimes your camera is not allowed to go where you're trying to go. And in that case, you have uh, two options is either you just don't <laughs> at all, or you use the camera that's in your pocket. Whether or not you're going to use it to do your content, that's up to you. But the thing is, we're going to always going to have our phone with us always even if you jump the step from using your phone and go to a professional camera, there are times where you still have to go back to the phone so today we are going golfing well not actually golfing we're going to top golf so it is in nashville and i don't want to go to this place with my professional camera so for the rest of this video well not the rest of the video but the commute to nashville and the activities that we're going to do i'll be using my phone Watch my back. Never been to Top Golf before. Alright, so back home, like I said earlier in this video, the parts where we were outside, you know, going to Nashville, all of that would be taken on my phone. Disclaimer, I do have an iPhone 15, so I was able to, you know, get a better quality than, let's say, this iPhone 11 can give me. So this is just to demonstrate where having a smartphone, regardless if you have a camera or not, it comes in handy. If you want to start, just get started. Start with the camera that you have closest to you. It doesn't have to be your phone, but I do know that we all at this point have smartphones. So use a smartphone, push it to the limit, see what you can do, see what you can't do, and then go from there. The biggest thing is to start. And that's the hardest thing to do. So just get started, guys. <laughs> 